Hey coin collectors and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we're going to look at the 1949 Lincoln penny from the United States of America. It's a wheat ears penny. They didn't change the penny back until 1958 to the memorial. So this is going to be the old back. We see this one doesn't have any mint mark on it. And so that means that it's a Philadelphia coin. It says in God we trust up above Lincoln. Liberty here behind him. 1949 here. And then way down in here we can see that there is a V, a D, and a B. And you can almost see it. There you go. This is a bronze coin. 95% copper, 5% zinc, or tin. On the back we see this says one cent United States of America. To top it says E Pluribus Unum. And on each side here we have these ears of wheat. And this is really interesting because 1949 was also the second year of the modern German currency. And in 1948, 1949, they made the first one Pfennig coins. And see if you notice anything that looks a little similar. Well, I bet you do. And that is we have wheat ears on both sides of our one cent coin. The German coin has these two ears, but they are of rye. So different grain, same kind of design, I guess is how you could say it. It doesn't say E Pluribus Unum anywhere on the German one Pfennig coin, of course. After World War II, the Allies set up a banking system in Germany, and in 1948 it produced its first coins, and this is the second year of them. And let me show you the 1949 on here, and then we can look at the 1949 on here. Now, the 1949 German one Pfennig coin says Bank Deutscher Lander, a 1949 here, and there is an oak sprig here. And if any of you know about American coins, you know that we have some oak on our coins also. In fact, we have it on the U.S. dime. So on the U.S. dime, there is oak sprig here with two acorns on it, an olive branch. This coin actually came out in 1946, so this design was available or there. In Germany, there were five different mints in 1949. There was Berlin, uh, which was an A, and you can tell a mint mark on a German coin by just going up the top of this one on the Pfennig coins. That's a J. That means it's from Hamburg. Berlin was A, Munich was D, Stuttgart was F, Karlsruhe was G, and Hamburg was J. So this is a one, essentially a one penny coin from the Federal Republic of Germany from 1949, and these were only produced in 1948 and 1949, and then the Bank of Germany actually took over from the Allies and the Bank of Germany started supporting these coins. The engraver of this coin is Adolf Jaeger and again the engraver of these coins is Victor David Brenner. There was another coin that had its second year in 1949 and that is the Franklin Half Dollar came out in 1948 the same year that the one Fenny coin came out and so this silver half dollar from 1949, second year, and of course the Liberty Bell reverse. What other pennies did they make in 1949? Well, of course they made the San Francisco Mint coin. And this is not a proof coin. Proof coins in 1949 did not exist. They didn't make any. But they did make some P, D, and S mint sets. And so you could get a mint set with all the P, all the Phillies, no P on the penny, of course, all the uh, San Francisco's and all the uh, Denver's. You could get that all in one mint set. And in 1949, they sold those for $5.45 for all the U.S. coins in one set. The face value was $4.96. And now a PDS uncirculated mint set from 1949 is worth 1200 in $25. Best coin from San Francisco Mint uh, that they found from 1949, MS67 Plus, is worth $625. They've also found an MS67 Plus from the Denver Mint. They found two of them and they are worth about $7,500. And then finally they have found five MS67 Pluses from the Philadelphia Mint where they made 218 million coins and those are worth about $8,000. So $8,000 for the best of the Philadelphia Mint coins, $7,500 for the Den MS67 Denver Mint coins, and only $625 for the best of the San Francisco Mint coins. Why only $625? Because in 
instead of 7,500 and 8,000? Well, because they have found 40 so far of the MS-67s from San Francisco Mint. They've only found two from Denver and only five from Philadelphia. All right, so look for these pennies out there. Some of them are very, very, very valuable. In fact, if you just go down to an MS-67 on this 1949 Philly, it's still worth $1,650. Thanks for watching DC Coin World. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.